Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make videos for NBA, make videos for NFL. All these videos, they get posted on this subreddit right here. It's called DF Sports with one S. I make updates with all the news that comes out throughout the day. You can ask me questions about the slate leading up to lock. I'll always reply to you and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, um, so that'll be linked down below. And if you ever need to get a hold of me privately, you can do so on Twitter or Reddit Messenger. So before we get into this five game slate, we'll just review my lineups from tonight. And um, before we do that, if you are interested in joining my Discord, I'll have a link down below where I give you guys cores for cash and GPPs, um, private videos, whole bunch of stuff that'll be linked down below as well. So another really, really good night, but I just don't even know what to say about this. Um, McDaniel's injured two minutes into the game. Unknown Zion Williamson absolutely nuking the slate. Massive random blowout. Just Kristaps Porzingis, just, uh, just unbelievable stuff. How about Fred Van Fleet having two points? It's just, just unbelievable stuff. How do I 5x tonight? 5x tonight only 35 points off winning five what is first place here um 1000 in this and the other one's 2500 how am i 35 points off with zion williamson losing 10 minutes he's 1.3 fantasy points what give him like 13 14 fantasy points right there cool Jaden mcdaniels played two minutes because uh, he got injured tonight Let's just give him his medium projection of like 18. Um, so what, 15? It's like 35. It's just unbelievable. I, I'm happy to cash, but it should have been a huge night. It, it should have just been an absolutely massive night. But been on a heater of late. My core today just absolutely shattered the slate. My core today was Peyton Pritchard. Miles Bridges, he was a free square basically. Uh, Zion Williamson was a core play for me at no ownership. Like I said, absolutely nuking. And then the other core play for me, Alper and Sengun. So got a little different with the core today. It absolutely worked out massively. Um, had some huge, huge fucking days in Discord. Excuse my language. Just huge, huge stuff. Um, $23 and $140. Nice cash there. Um, fourth place lineup here for $800. Showdown win there. Um, more stuff here, those Teddy's line up, but as you can see, like under a hundred dollars into eight eight hundred dollars. Uh what else? There's just so much stuff. Um cast with Jokic. Um if you played Jokic, you you got incredibly unlucky. Uh, ninety nine dollars into two thousand dollars, nice win there. Another one here, hundred dollars into a thousand dollars. Just it's been insane. It, it's uh, just been insane. Um could have been even better if the game just stayed closed. And I, I thought Showdown was relatively easy to build. Um, and uh, did, didn't quite get there. Um, Steph Curry had a pretty underwhelming game. And then the Jabari Smith nuke at the end kind of hurt me there. But um, yeah, phenomenal day. Hoping to have this keep going until uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to make this a pretty quick video, guys. I don't know, I'm not feeling so good. Um, we'll see, though. I'm going to try and make this quick. So... Not the best matchup here. I mean, Toronto, Orlando, they're both very, very solid defensively. Um, Pace-wise of this game isn't going to be the best either. So pretty unappealing game as far as pace goes. But if you want to play Scotty, if you want to play Siakam at their price points, I think they're both solid plays. These two guys are going to lead the way offensively for this team. They're both going to stuff the statue. They're both good rebounders. Scotty, good defender, can get blocks, steals. I have no issue if you want to go to either of them. I think I do prefer Siakam to um, Scotty Barnes, given price points. But I think both are pretty good plays at their price points. Dennis Schroeder, he'll be up, he'll be down, but minutes. Should play low to mid-30s minutes. Guy that can stuff the stat sheet. I think he's a fine play. Here's the thing with Yaka Pirtle. So his minutes actually have been trending up of late with Precious uh, back. Now, if they're going to continue to give him 30-plus minutes, now not a good spot going up against um, Orlando. Well, well, I guess they don't have one of Carter Jr., so it's a bit better. But um, if they're going to continue to give him 30-plus minutes, then Yaka Pirtle is just too cheap. Now, they're, they they could go back to just him, Precious, etc., just splitting the center minutes, and he could absolutely kill you. But if he keeps getting those minutes, I really like Yaka Pirtle. Um, just know... They control his minutes, though. OG at 6K, just there for me. Just 
fine. Uh, I think he's priced about right. I think I'd rather get up to like Dennis Schroeder if I had the money. Um, Trent, 4.8K, we got we know the drill with Trent, right? Going to play low 20s minutes. If he hits his shots, he can get you there. I just don't love the price point here. And then, you know, with uh, Pirtle gaining minutes, hard for me to go to Precious. And then Boucher will be in the rotation. Good point per minute guy. Um, probably plays low teens minutes. A viable dart for tournaments if you do need the salary. All right, on to Orlando. Like I said, not the best spot here. Paolo, France, more just contrarian plays for me. I think given price points, I do prefer Franz. And then with Markel Fultz out, both the guards I do like in Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs. Um, I think normally for Suggs, you're probably going to get around 30 or so minutes for him. And then Cole Anthony, I think you're going to get around 30 minutes, like 28, 29 minutes for him. So I think, you know, both the guards here for Orlando do look the best. Goga, Mo, they're going to split the center minutes. If I had to pick one, it would be Mo. He's better point per minute than Goga. But both probably going to play around 20 minutes. I think they're both fine options. Don't love the price points on either. I will mention Isaac, who probably plays low to mid-teens minutes. Really, really good fantasy producer. But minutes aren't really there. But another, like, large field tournament dart if you need it. And then, what is this shit, man? What I play Anthony Black here. He get, he gets benched. And then the next game with, what? Um, I want to say Suggs was out that one game. Yeah, but Suggs back. He just plays 24 minutes, has a decent game. Just um, I'm not going to play black, but I just had to mention that. Harris Ingles, they'll get high teens minutes off of the bench. They're both reasonable values. Also, if you need the money to punt for a value. This game looks really, really good as far as from like a pace standpoint goes defensively. So Halliburton at this price, I, I think he's one of the better spin ups on the slate. I'm fine paying this price point for Halliburton. He's just doing everything for this team right now. Also, from last year, he's shooting the ball more. He's stuffing the stat sheet. He looks like a pretty good spin up. Miles Turner, I think, is priced about right. Rotation for him is really, really frustrating because if the game does blow out, his minutes are just going to absolutely be cooked. I don't think this game will blow out, but... That is the one thing with him. His rotations are just extremely, extremely frustrating. But if the game stays close, I think he'll probably play around 30 minutes, which makes him reasonable. Don't love the price point, but playable. I always like him for tournaments just because he does have like 50, 50 fantasy point upside. And then trying to target anyone else on this team, it's just impossible. Like, I think the safest will probably be Bruce Brown at 5.5K. I think normally we get around 30 minutes for him. I think he's a reasonable play now that the price came down. He would probably be my favorite. And then if you are shooting for, like, pure ceiling, I think Matherum would be that guy. But there are times where he does get benched, and there are times when they extend him when he's playing well. And he does have this type of upside. So strictly tournament play for me, but in play. And then, like... Anyone else, I don't love it. Uh, Nemhard, if he's out, TD McConnell, I actually think is a solid value. Should play the backup point. Also did play alongside some Halliburton as well. So if we get like 20 minutes from TJ again, I mean, he's going to probably pay off this price point. So I don't mind TD McConnell if Nemhard's out. Jalen Smith, he'll get the backup five. Good point per minute. Probably plays 15-ish minutes. Another like playable large field tournament. RFD. We don't have a ton of value on this slate. So it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. All right. I like Trey Young a lot. Um, I think given price points, he might be easier to get to other than Halliburton. Obviously, I prefer Halliburton straight up, but I like Trey Young quite a bit at this price point. Um, Double-double upside every single night. Insane ceiling. He shot the ball poorly. Going to play huge minutes. I think he'll be pretty low-owned. So I like Trey Young quite a bit for tournaments. Murray, I think, is priced right. I think I prefer just getting up to Trey. And then Jalen Johnson, um, 36 minutes last game. I think he's very, very solid um, at this price point. Guy that's going to stuff the stat sheet. Now, double-double definitely um, has the chance of happening. I would say a bit more unlikely, but if he's going to keep playing 36 minutes a game, uh, I, I do like me some Jalen Johnson now that the price has come down. Um, I think he'll probably be a pretty popular play tomorrow, but yeah, hard to ignore that. I, I do like me some Jalen Johnson quite a bit. Capella, Okongwu, they'll split the center minutes. I always prefer whoever's cheaper, so that's Okongwu. Both don't really stand out to me at their price points. Bogey's just overpriced right now with everyone back, so hard to get to him. And then Hunter, mm, fine play. I think I prefer Sadiq Bay. Sadiq Bay's role's been much, much better of late. Minutes have been solid. I actually think Sadiq Bay stands out as a pretty solid value play on the slate. I'm not going to play anyone else. You couldn't pay me to play anyone else. All right, Cleveland, tough matchup here. 
Um, Sixers have been playing a lot faster this year under Nick Nurse than they were in the past with Doc Rivers, though, so that is a plus. But Donovan Mitchell, Isaac Okoro is going to continue to be out, and we also have Karis LeVert is questionable. Now, if LeVert's in, then obviously I still really like Darius Garland. Mobley, I think, will be fine. Don't love the matchup for Allen, but playable. Minutes have ticked up of late as well. Don't mind him. I like targeting centers against Embiid that do go out to the three-point line. Um, Struce with Levert in, I still think would be a solid play for Levert out. And then Wade, just fair value. And then um, can't get to Craig Porter if Levert is in. Now, if Levert's out, then, you know, Darius Garland looks amazing. Max Struce looks really, really good. Um, Wade would be a m- more in play. Mobley would look a little bit better with, like, him. Allen would just be the same to me. And then I'll mention Craig Porter. Really good, solid point per minute guy. Um, now, this game did blow out, but I would think he'd be in this rotation. Would probably play around 20 minutes. I think he'd be a really interesting value play at that price point. All right, Sixers. So, hard to ignore what Joel Embiid is doing right now. Uh, it's just hard to ignore him. Not a ton of spend-ups on the slate. It's him. Halliburton at the top, if you're spending up, I think both look very, very solid. Now, if there are some good plays in this range, but um, aren't too many spend-ups on the slate. Halliburton and Embiid you have right up there. So I'm not going to say no if you want to play Embiid. Playing huge minutes, Nurse running a tight rotation. Um, that maxi Embiid pick and roll is just crazy. Um, they do it a ton as well. Uh, I just had to say that. I'm obviously a Sixers fan, so like Embiid at the top. Maxi, I think, is a fine play. The good thing with Maxi is if the game blows out, he is going to play 35 plus minutes regardless. Like, he is in the fourth quarter until like the last three minutes, even if it's a huge blowout. So, Maxi is just very, very safe. Um, don't mind him. Tobias Harris, I think, is priced right, but the role has been much, much better. Same with him. Hold, hold surpass 30 minutes regardless if the game blows out or, or not. So, like, very, very safe. Melton at 5'9, I think, is fair, priced right, but. Um, no issue if you want to go to him. I mean, they're just running a really tight rotation right now. But two will start. I think he's a fair value. And then I'm not going to get to anyone else here for the Sixers. Portland. So we have Malcolm Brogdon is questionable. Now, if Brogdon's in, I mean, if there's no type of limit, then I do like him. We'll see. Hamstring injuries are tough to come back from. So I would assume there would be some type of limit. But if he's in, that would take Skylar Mays out of play. That would downgrade Sharp. Um... Jeremy Grant would be priced right. There wouldn't be much to like here. I would like Aiton, though, regardless. And then, like, the value plays become a bit worse. Um, but if Brogdon's out, I think this is a really interesting tournament team to target. They were giga chalk last slate. I think nobody's going to want to play him this slate because of how bad they are. But I don't care. If Brogdon is out, I think Skylar Mays is a pretty solid play. I like Eaton. I think Sharp is in play for tournaments. I like Grant for tournaments. Um, Kamara is a fine value. Um, Jabari Walker should get high teens of minutes. Good point per minute guy. I don't mind him for value. And I think that's going to be it for Portland. Let's move on to Phoenix. So Beal out. Kevin Durant had the massive game last game, but I still prefer Beal to Kevin Durant. We'll monitor if they're going to uptick his minutes or not um, there. So if, if like Booker's not in a limit, then I, I do prefer Booker to Durant. If he's still in a limit, then you can go KD. Um, Nurk, minutes all over the place, more of just a tournament play, but does have huge, huge upside. And then Eric Gordon, I think is very, very safe. Solid value of 5.2K. Roll without Beal is pretty good. Going to play decent minutes, and then Grayson Allen is playable. Drew Eubanks will get the backup five. Reasonable. And I think that's going to wrap it up. Last game here, guys. So this game looks really good to target. Might be one of my favorite games on the slate to target. So really good spot here. I mean, I really like Mark in 8-4. I think it's just too cheap. Now, I will say I think he's going to go a bit over-owned after last game, but I think he's too cheap. I really like Mark in. I think Clarkson's a solid play at 7.3K. I will say here, he was not on pace to play big minutes last game because Taylor and Horton Tucker was playing really well. So if he's going to be popular tomorrow and they're going to go with the hot hand between like THT, Clarkson, and Sexton, you could make the argument to fade. Just thought I'd mention that. John Collins is going to start at the five. My only risk, my only worry here is a bit of foul trouble, but with him at the five, his rebounding goes up, his four goes up, his ceiling goes up. I still like him at six four. Keontae George, very, very safe, should play around 30 minutes. Gonna, gonna stuff the statue. Don't mind him. And the value. THT, Sexton, I think are both solid values here. Both should play low 20s minutes, both good point per minute. 
we don't have a ton of value on this slate. So yeah, I do like THT and I do like Sexton for value on this slate. Agbaji, I mean, he'll play 30 minutes. It has to shots. Playable. All right, LeBron's going to play. So we're going to go over to assuming he plays. I mean, if he does, I like AD. I like LeBron. I think I prefer AD to LeBron. is pricey. Um, Austin Reeves, don't love the price point coming off the bench. And then Reddish, Prince, they're both fine. I do like Rui. He did play 32 minutes last game, but either way, he's going to be a big part of this rotation. I'm expecting low 20s minutes regardless. He's another value off the bench that I do like on this slate. So that's going to wrap it up for the Vic, guys. Hope you guys had a good night, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll see how I'm feeling.